what is going on youtube i hope you guys are having a great day as always we are bringing you back for another video on the channel today we're doing something a little bit more exciting than the last video so last video we were working out braking issues i think we got that about ironed out um, hooked up the vacuum pump a different way but today's topic is something a little bit more exciting because we're actually doing a mod on the truck uh, kind of upgrading an existing mod actually so we got wheel lights on the truck already but they are not very bright they are from apex off-road lighting they still do a great job but they have inside and outside rings on them i'll show you what i'm talking about i don't know if you can see that but they have wheel light rings on the inside and then of course your normal outside rings as well see that there so I got one set of Flow Series and then one set of RGB Plus Pure White. And I rarely ever use the Flow Series, so those kind of just sit on the truck and collect dust most of the time. And then my Pure Whites, the RGB Plus Pure Whites, those aren't as bright as I would like them to be. So what we're actually going to do is use the rings that I have and go quad rows. So I've got eight strips of double row wheel lights. So essentially each wheel is going to be quad row high intensity uh, wheel lights. Just your typical strips that you can buy from pretty much any big truck lighting company right now. I got these from Limitless Lighting, which is my buddy in five stars. His name's Jordan Sellers. He gave me a good deal on them. I think I paid 150 bucks for quad row strips and they're custom cut to fit the rings that I already have. We're going to be working on getting these installed today. So we're going to go ahead and get the truck up on some jack stands and uh, go ahead and pop the wheels off that way I have easy access to them all right guys so basically what I'm gonna do here is is just cut these wires off here and here and use these wires to power the new strips and we're just gonna pull cut all the zip ties and pull off these strips so that we can go ahead and lay the new ones in there and then put new zip ties on. They're basically just like your standard old wheel lights. They'll sit down in there, you put zip ties on it, be ready to roll. We'll hook them up all nice and neat and of course keep all the wiring clean. But for now, I'm gonna just start, go ahead and pulling these strips off and see how that's gonna do for us. Hopefully it's not too difficult. All right guys, so as with most projects that I uh, take on, at least outside of work, uh, this this is gonna take end up taking a little bit longer than we expected it to. First things first, uh, we got one ring off already. And the only reason we took it off is just to clean the adhesive stuff off of it. But this other ring, and that one, that one barely had any adhesive left on it. But this ring has like thick, double sticky adhesive on it so that's gonna be a pain to get off dad's using goof off to get that off all right guys so basically the plan is here so i thought at first i was gonna be able to just reuse this wire but obviously that's not gonna be possible because this wire is way too small that's basically trash that's not gonna support anything this is 22 gauge that's also too small to support these uh high intensity basically i'm doing quad row wheel lights so each strip i've done the calculations now each strip pulls about three amps so that means on these wheels i've got two rings so it's quad row three six nine twelve in the rear and twelve in the front because there's four strips front four strips rear so i have a total load of 24 amps that wire is definitely not sufficient so what i'm going to do is just tear so what i'm going to do is just tear that wire out all the way to the switch panel uh, little hub where everything runs to and all my switches control lights and just rerun it I got some 16 gauge wire on order and I'm just gonna run the 16 basically all the wires are gonna meet in the middle of the truck I'll run one leg out for each wheel and then when that where they all meet in the center I'll 
uh, butt connect them up, but I'm gonna use 12 gauge right there and then run it up into the center console where I have my uh, hub at for all of my stuff. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the night. Show y'all what I got done. So there's the old light strips. And we're actually taking the rings off of the brackets because the one of these sets of wheel lights, you can't see it probably, but they're sticky in there. And on the other side, you can see all the brake dust stuck to the sticky. But we have to get that crap off somehow, so. We've actually got the ones from back here soaking in like a tub of like goof off mixed with lacquer thinner to try to get the glue off of it. Hopefully that stuff comes off. That way we can uh, still use these rings. If not, then I may have to contact uh, Apex Off Road to see if I can get like the exact same set of rings. Um, I bought these a couple of years ago, but they still sell wheel lights and stuff, so I imagine they're still using the same material to create their, you know, light kits and stuff like that. Hopefully they are. Maybe I can get a new set of rings if I need them. That's basically where we're at right now, trying to get this glue and sticky and crap off of the wheel rings. This is another thing that's making this take a lot longer than it should, but also got my wires cut off. I'm just gonna pull. I'm, I'm leaving them there for now, so that way I can use those wires to pull the new ones in uh, up through the fender liner just right up through there because it's going to make it so much easier to get it through that gap and if i would have been smart i would have actually left the wires running down the frame back here too i could have just pulled the new ones in with the old ones but uh it's all good it ain't it ain't gonna be too difficult but i got all the wiring figured out got wire ordered stuff like that once we get some try to get some results on this stuff and get some wire and stuff in. We'll pick you guys back up on the camera and get going on this wheel light install and stick around for the end because at the end of this video, there's gonna be a little surprise. So uh, I'm excited. I'm so excited for it. I can't wait to see it. All right, what is going on guys? So I just watched over the last thing I just shot and it was talking about getting the adhesive off the wheel lights, or I mean off the wheel rings and we actually managed to get that off. There's still a little bit on there, but I'm really not worried about that little bit of adhesive left. So uh, what we actually had to do to get the adhesive off the wheel rings was soak the wheel rings in lacquer thinner overnight and then take like a little, uh, like a plastic pry tool that you use for trim and just scrape it off and then it'll start to roll up and then it just you can just kind of pull it off slowly. So we got all that off, but I'm gonna move on to cleaning these brackets off. Uh, something that I'm not too concerned about, but my dad, he's really specific and picky. But these little details what make the build so clean overall though. So, so we're gonna set you guys up and I'll go ahead and start cleaning those off and go from there. I'll pick y'all up with any updates. All right guys, I wanna throw this little update in here for y'all. So what I actually figured out is, you see that they're actually pretty clean now, shiny a little bit. Got the brake dust off of this one. But what I found to work since they are aluminum is uh, just regular aluminum polish. This stuff is, I think, for like aluminum chrome. So it's just metal polish, blue magic. That's what I'm using to clean them. Just polishing them off a little bit. Nothing, you know, not going crazy on them. But I am glad I am doing this because I found this is loose. And also this one down here is loose. So. I have to make sure to tighten those up before I keep going and make sure to check all of them before I keep going. This one's good. All right, YouTube. So we made some decisions on the wheel lights. So as you can see right now, we're actually putting 
what we struggled to get off. So we're actually putting double sticky back on on the insides because I'm gonna run quad outside, quad inside. When I put just the quads on the outside and tested them with a 12 volt battery, I didn't like it. I mean, I liked it, but it just didn't light up the wheel quite enough for me. So decided to go with quads on the inside and outside. I'm actually pulling some wire now running 16 gauge because i have an aux beam switch panel that has two 30 amp circuits two 20 amp circuits i think it's like two tens and a two fives or something like that because it's the eight gang so i'm gonna do the inside rings and the outside rings on separate switches just like i had them before because the amperage each strand of lights pulls about three amps each switch will have 24 amps pulling on it with eight stri strips of lights per switch so I have 16 total, because there'll be four per wheel, and each switch will have 24 amps. So I'm pulling 16 gauge wire. I think it's it should be plenty, six amps per per ring, because there's two strips, three amps per ring. So uh, I think it should be plenty as far as power. Getting that wire pulled, just leaving some slack for now until dad gets on all the rings, and then we'll get the lights stuck on, and go ahead and, and wire them up and use that i'll show y'all what i use to keep it clean i got some little nylon sleeving stuff that i like to put over the wire and makes it look super clean and just run up into the frame It'd be a nice connection but i'm going to set you guys up while i pull the wire all right guys so i got all of the rear wires pulled they're just sitting here wires inside of this little sleeving that's what i was talking about the nylon sleeving it expands, comes open, and you can put it, slide it up your wire. I just ran it up to about in here. I'll pull this back and trim it down whenever I go to make my connection on my lights right here. All right guys, so I got my wire routed, tied up on the knuckle back there, and it goes up into the engine bay over, over the fender liner here, and then it comes down through here and goes under. And then I went ahead and put some new conduit on both my main wiring harnesses here too, because the old stuff was really brittle and just cracked and broke off. Making good progress on the lights. Dad's working on getting the rings on with the sticky tape. How about for you, Daddy? Going all right, it's tedious getting these little tiny screws in, but I'm getting it. Well, we're getting it guys, I'm gonna put you back on the time lapse and keep on running with it. All right guys, a little update here. I went, went around and got everything zip tied back up. I just ran it the exact same way that I did before. So it goes underneath here and then goes into this bump stop drop and runs up the back side of it and then runs down my frame over to there where all of them are hanging out. And I'm just gonna make it a connection there and run it up to my center console where all my power is. All right guys, so it's pretty simple. I'm just taking the end of the light, putting it on the ring where I want it to go. Just taking my two fingers like this, and just pressing it down into the ring. Super simple, run it across the top. All right guys, so last thing I showed was me putting the strips on the rings uh, like these are, are here. I still haven't made it, like anything, any changes. This one is completely done minus the wiring still. Have to do that, but this is how we're actually gonna do it. So you got your inside strips, focus. Camera's trying to focus on something else. Anyway. You got your inside strips here, and then of course you got the outside strips. You got one big zip tie around all four strips. All right guys, so I've got my first connection made up on my first wheel light here, what the finished product will look like. It's about the best I could get it. It looks pretty decent. 
I'm gonna experiment with some of the other ones and trying to do it different ways to get this cleaned up a bit, but being that the wires have to come from the inside around to the outside on, on the uh, inside rings, it's really about the best I could get it on that as clean as possible and with all my connections being secured no stress on the solder stuff like that so I think it came out pretty good especially once you get the wheel on there you won't even hardly notice it, it looks pretty natural so what you got going on over here looking the wheel lights huh making them look good <laughs> <laughs> y'all want to build a truck <laughs> So he's basically just sticking uh, the inside rings on right now, getting my wires lined up where they need to go, yeah. getting the connections ready for me. Or I'll probably finish these two wheels up and then pull that wire in. So. This is looking very neat though. I like it, looks very good. That's good. Clean install. All right guys, so on my wheel lights here, the wires, hey baby here. The wires that are coming off my wheel lights, I basically just, heat shrink the whole things and then when I figure out the length that I'm gonna need them I'm just gonna cut them off and then cut the heat shrink off back to where I need it to and then like I said I pulled this little nylon braiding back and I'm gonna cut these wires the right length strip them out put heat shrink on them cover my connection when it's done and then pull the heat shrink up heat it up and then once all that's covered I'll pull this nylon back up pull it down you know as tight as I can get it and then pull my heat shrink down and cover it on there too so Alright guys, I know it's a little dark out here. Sorry for the lighting. Maybe that's a little better. But uh, check out what's lighting up my face. <laughs> the freaking wheel lights. Those things are insanely bright. Like it is ridiculous how freaking bright they are. The camera's like freaking out because they're so bright. But uh, anyway guys, wheel lights are doing good. I'm having a little, little bit of worries about overloading my switch panel because it's only capable of 60 amps these wheel lights I think they pull somewhere around 40 amps I'm getting blinded by these things but uh, I think they pull somewhere around 40 amps and then I have my rock lights which are about 20 amps maybe a little less so but I've had them on for like 10 15 minutes now haven't had any issues yet with my main breaker which is a 60 amp breaker tripping if I do I'll just have to swap it take the lights and actually swap them over to their own relay and supply their own power just to take them off the switch panel but in the meantime check out the surprise guys it's what y'all been waiting for and like i said i'm sorry for the audio the truck's running battery is about dead but check this out brand new wheels 26 by 14 archon da vinci them things are bad i love them the chrome job is absolutely beautiful. And these wheel lights, these freaking wheel lights are insanely bright. I always said I didn't want to go with too bright, but oh, I love them. They light up my wheels so good, these brand new wheels. Beautiful, so beautiful. And I love how all this is lit up so much better now than it used to be. Which it, I mean, it's always been lit up good, but now there ain't no there's no no missing it now
All right, guys, so as y'all saw, the wheel lights look awesome, especially with the new wheels. Uh, but we're wrapping it up for the night. Wheel light install is done. They look awesome. I'm actually about to take it to the gym. I can't wait to see, the thing, see this thing on the road. I mean, I won't see it, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I can't wait to drive it with new wheels and all that stuff. Been waiting on those things for a year now, so super excited about having those on. And the truck's just, it's just, it just looks amazing. I love that thing. Anyway, guys, don't forget to smash that like button. Drop any questions you may have down below in the comments. And subscribe if y'all did enjoy the video. And stick around for some more future content on the truck. And ooh, better lighting. And possibly some uh, more builds coming up in the future. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.